Hey, what's going on guys? John here and welcome back to the channel. Now, let's talk about this new sighting we saw of the Model X that was just roaming around the streets with some kind of funky hardware strapped on top of its roof. Now, you guys have already seen all the different LiDAR versions of the vehicles from the manufacturer, from Tesla, where they strapped the LiDAR systems on top. Now, this is not done because Tesla is planning to put LiDAR on their vehicles, but it's done to compare between what the LiDAR sees and what the camera sensor sees. So that gives them a better understanding of what to expect when a vehicle approaches you or it's coming close to you. Of course, LiDAR is going to be the more accurate version of it. So they are just testing it against their cameras until they are practically the same. And this is what's going on FSD beta right now in terms of visualization, how far you are from certain vehicles and different objects on the paths. So definitely a very interesting way of using LiDAR. A lot of people thought they were going to be using it in future vehicles, but unfortunately they're not. And this is going to be saved for Waymo and Cruise. Now with Tesla saying no to LiDAR, saying no to radar recently, and then now even ultrasonic sensors being gone, they are solely relying on the cameras. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be working very well because they are reintroducing a radar back into the system, but we're not exactly sure if this is the radar that we're all expecting here. There has been speculations and even releases from the company themselves giving an idea of what the new radar system is supposedly going to be coming out with. No longer is it going to be the low resolution radars that have been previously put into cars. Now, I think this makes complete sense because they are removing the ultrasonic sensors, meaning that the HD radar is supposed to be replacing them. I don't think that camera placements right now are in the exact spots right at the top and the sides there. There are still a lot of blind spots. There is going to be a need for a physical hardware to see in those places that the cameras can't see. Now, this is where the HD radars are going to come in. This is going to be placed right at the front of the bumper and then right at the back, hopefully as well, so that it can track everything behind it. And this means that they save money on the ultrasonic sensors and in place, maybe some cheaper hardware with the HD radars. All right, so let's go back to talking about the images we saw online of the Model FB strapped with these weird things up hovering at the top of its roof and it does not look like what we're used to with the lidars and it doesn't look like it's something we've ever seen before so this definitely hints something else and i'm thinking that is something that tesla has been planning all along working with another company realistically their own company starlings and this is where the antennas are going to be allowing starlings to beam down internet and this is when tesla can stop relying on u.s carriers now we all know this is going to happen eventually because now starlings works everywhere and a mobile carrier does not work everywhere so if you guys are going through a mountain pass or somewhere deep in the jungle with your car you're definitely not going to get the lte that you get in the city now in addition to that you guys are going to save money because you don't have to pay that stupid 9.99 that you typically do every single month Month, and Tesla doesn't have to pay the carriers anything just as a commission or a kickback because they allow their cars to be connected to them. So realistically, the best of all worlds and Tesla really just needs to package it all into their vehicles without these funky antennas right up top there. It looks quite odd at the moment, but I think they are working on something like that. Now there's the other side of it as well and that is that this is going to be the new HD radars. Supposedly they are testing it right now because they want to make sure that it's not obstructed by any of the bumper coverings or any other coverings that happens uh, during the winter season. We're not exactly sure at this point. It does look like it's something different. It doesn't look like a radar. It could be a possible LiDAR as well, but the chances are very low. And if it is LiDAR, it is something that they're using against their cameras to see uh, the data that comes in and out and which one is more perfect. But yeah, some very clear shots. I'll drop it up here again for you guys to see, maybe zoomed in on the camera. It looks like the circular puck. It reminds me more of a starting dish instead of the LiDAR or the radar system so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and what we should be expecting in future cars now definitely the model 3 is going to be getting a refresh and likely this hardware is going to be inside of those vehicle once it comes into production so we'll definitely get to see in a couple months time especially with the filing saying that uh mid-january is the date that they're going to be announcing the new radar system and whatever else that they are including in the car but until then if you guys want to know more about the rumors and what's to come with the model 3 i'll drop a link in the description below as well as a link right up top there for you guys to check out but anyways guys this should be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did you guys know what to do this is john once again peace out